Good afternoon, everyone. A very warm welcome to you at Craig Path. My name is Lower Love. Taking you through until the one o'clock show, and she's back, everyone. Here she is. Nikki's back in the house. Hello, Hello my darling. Mm. How are you, Sweet Pie? I'm great, thank You're you. You're best. Well, you are good. I am. We've had a good catch up. We have. Um, and for those of our crafters, I know lots of our crafters do know uh, that Nikki's had a bit of a horrendous year. Uh, and for those of you that didn't know, well, we'll have a bit of a chat about it during the um, hour. But listen, we're so thankful that you're back. Uh, and obviously, we are also very sorry for the horrendous nightmare that you and Chris have been through. But you just wanted to say, um, you wanted to say something. Didn't yeah, you? I just wanted to thank all of the crafters that have just been so supportive to me this year. To to both of us, it's just been amazing. And mm. yeah, again, the craft community is just oh. fantastic. It's fantastic, and isn't it? You're all fantastic, and you know I can't say thank you enough. Yeah, and but amazing people. Yeah, think all of our crafters are. Um, well, listen, let's. Uh, Let's get on because we've got lots of exciting yeah, things to tell yeah. everyone. Actually, before we just do this, because obviously we have new crafters, but you can tell everyone a little bit more about you and Polka Doodle because you've been coming to us here at uh, Great Craft for it's about eight years. Eight years. I think it's eight years next week. Is you know? it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it was July. I think our very first show was right at the beginning of July. Ooh. So, yeah, eight years. And we kind of started Polka Doodles really because. Um, I just felt that we had something different mm. to offer at the time and we, we kind of have a very specific style of what we do and we're still in that style and doing that eight years further down the road and you know we have a real good core fan base that we always do. support us really well here so you know it's lovely to come here and kind of bring new things and you know I love being here it's great. How would you describe the style of poker doodles because I know it's quite we're, we're modern with kind of a funky twist, mm -hmm. I think. Um, but our style, what we try and do is bring things that are a little bit different. And we kind of try and push you a little bit. Mm. So, you know, we try and make you think outside the box you a do. bit. Um, and think about your crafting in a slightly different way, mm. hopefully. Which actually beautifully leads us into the set of stamps that we're going to show you, which are brand new today. So this is your Stamp Soup Regal Peacock set. Here are the stamps themselves. Now, you actually get 27 in total, but I'll let Nikki um, explain to you the whole idea of this. And I have got some absolutely beautiful uh, silly samples because, yes, of course, it says peacock, but Nikki will tell you there's so much more that you can do with this. So I'm just going to show some of the samples. Um, okay. Do you want to explain to everyone what the idea of using the stamps yeah, is Yeah, so about? basically when you see these stamps, we don't, uh, these stamps are not um, flowers in so much as you will not get a, a stamp of a rose. But what you will get is lots of different shapes. And this is about breaking down shapes of things that you have and actually thinking of all the different myriad of ways that you can use them. So for instance here with this one, mm. this is like a peacock feather. But also we've made it into flowers. This could also, if you coloured it differently, would also make a fabulous snowflake. So oh. don't think about these only as non-Christmas because you can use these for Christmas as well. Oh, yeah. Fabulous is so that? this is one stamp. So this this petal is one stamp. And it's just being repeat stamped all around. Mm. And it makes these phenomenal things. And these look really, really complex. And they're not. They're the, I is think it? they're the most simple stamps you could ever wish these, to these use. These are made from the stamps. Yeah, aren't they? everything. Everything here and is the made from the stamps. And the car that you'll go, what's the first thing that we're going to oh, make? Where's it? Away. Shall, I show uh, you? Shall I show you? Yeah. Okay, just let me grab yeah, it. Wait till you see this. It's okay. really, I think it's glorious. And Nick is going to show you how you can do this at home. Look at this. Because when Nikki said to me this is going to be the first demo, I was like, oh my word. Look at that. Look, look at the look at the texture and everything. Isn't it incredible? So if I just tilt that a little bit like that, look at the dimension oh. in there. Now this, believe it or not, uses one, two, three, four, five, six stamps. Is that all? Six actual stamps, yeah. And you are going to, I'm going to show you how to make this because it's so stunning. Yeah. And you, that if I just put this as a sample, yeah. people would think, I can't make that. Yes. And I want you to make this. Yeah, can't wait. Can't okay. wait. Uh, do you know, already 10% of the stock of the stamps is sold out and gone. Don't forget, you've got 27 in total. Uh, 409084 is your item. If you're new to stamping, the only other thing that you will need, of course, is an acrylic, acrylic block. Acrylic block and, um, and an ink pad. 
What inks do you use? Well, I'm actually u- I'm actually using a black Versafine today. Right. But you can use whatever you want. We we might if we have time we might do some heat and embossing. Ooh. So um you know you could use a burst black. We've got the rare. I've actually got the rare earth inks oh, with me you? as well. Okay. Fine. Um you know so you can use whatever ink right. you want. Okay. Well that tells me I need to shut up and move on. Uh, I hope you've noticed the price as well for all 27 stamps. If you're in the club, 1349 409084. But how exciting! There's a different way to use them and Nick is going to show you. Let's now move on to Ula. Now this is uh, obviously a CD-ROM. Nick is going to tell you a little bit more about it but I've just I've got to show you this. Yeah, we amazing. talk a lot with the grass of Crafts now. We all say card making home decal. Okay just take a look at this because it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah it, this is amazing. I think this is Julia that made this for me and this has just blown me away. It's oh. stunning. Absolutely stunning. It's so it's just stunning. a piece of wood and then she's used lots of gesso and different paste and Stamp, all the stamps and she's just embellished it and it's beautiful i am going to put this on my craft room while she's not getting it back let me just pop that down okay so just tell us a little bit about the cd rom ula cd rom okay so ula is a character um which i came up with um really to give us a mixed media feel in our crafting not card making specifically but crafting in general Mm. so um she's like a step between um making a card yeah, with an Im- with a character image and yeah. stamping that that character or using a digi stamp, but then actually mm-hmm. moving it over into the mixed media so you can do more things with her. So this CD is actually a mini CD. I think it's got about a hundred unique elements on it. Mm. But the whole idea behind this is it actually helps you in the mix get the mixed media feel. Right. So you've got pre coloured images in here. Yeah. You've got the black and white. Then you've got the pre coloured ones already on a mixed media style background. Okay. So if mixed media scares you yeah. but you want to get that feel, this is perfect for it. And also we've got some cutting files on here which I'm gonna show Ooh. you when we go back over there. Um there's actually some cutting files for masks and stencils which you can cut out on your scan and cut and I'm going to show you oh. how I made those and they're amazing oh, that sounds so exciting yeah. also payday deal price 11.69 is all this is yeah 409086 um, can I also just tell you that 20% of the stock of that has already sold out and gone you've got 35 uh, beautiful papers on there as well by ooh. the way it's worth it just ooh. the papers it alone is. It's totally. and then we're going to move on to I love the name of this Winnie Winnie Fruit, Fruit Punch Winnie really Fruit Punch yeah okay that's her actual name, is it? Yeah, Winnie Fruit Punch. Fabulous. Well, it's actually Winnie Sugar Sprinkles, and this is, is the Fruit Punch collection. <laughs> Winnie Sugar Sprinkles. Yeah, and Winnie is one of... We launched Winnie about um, a year ago, and she's one of our most popular characters that we've ever, ever had. Everyone just absolutely adores her. And this is a really lovely, summery, feel-good, fun, bright collection that you're just going to absolutely love. You get 10 characters on here, um, and obviously you're going to get them all in black and white, all in pre-coloured versions. You've got loads of papers. There's design sheets on here. You just... You can don't forget as well, all those scan and cut users, you can take every single one of our images mm. onto your scan and cut machine and cut them all out yourself. Mm. So, you, uh, you you know, the, everything we do is always about yeah. versatility and we bring everything in such a way that you can use it how you want it to be, not how we dictate. Oh, That's really this. important for me. Yeah, isn't that stunning? Oh, I love this that. is, do you know, this is just an embellishment. Is so this is like a little embellishment that we put in there as an extra thing. Yeah. But because our images are such good quality, you yeah. can print it out and enlarge it, and you don't lose any of the quality. That's a card on its own in its oh, own right. And that absolutely beautiful. And that's been done on the scan and cut that one. How's that been? Was that been? Um, was that oh, 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 that's a uh, glossy accent. Is that? Yeah, or just a bit of like uh, high gloss glue yeah. or something. Jose Deal Price, 1349, if you're in the club. That's a really big collection, that one as well. So Zero eight seven. We are going to show you this, obviously, uh, with Nikki on the uh, in the computer in the show as well. So obviously do stay tuned, but if you want to place your order, you can do that on the website. Oh, now we've got also two fabulous dies available for you. These are all available to view on our website in more detail, greatcraft.com. But your Polka Doodles Elegant Flourish and Toadstool Border Die Set. Wait to see the border die. Look at all the detail in here. And this has a terrific saving today. If you're not in the club, it's only twelve ninety nine for both dies. If you're in the club, your payday deal is eleven sixty nine. And we can show you when they're cut out. 
Um, Nikki, I presume with the size of these, you can use your smaller die cutting machines. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, they'll both go through the little sapphire or the baby blue. Um, these are fantastic because so detailed on this toadstool. And this is big. This is a <coughs> six, almost six inches, this mm. die. So I sized this purposely for a six inch card. Oh, well, but look excited. how cute it is when you colour it in. Oh, and I've amazing. actually done this in a black and white version as well. And it looks absolutely stunning. And look at the size of the flourish as well, yeah. the flourish die. And we're going to be using that, actually, on our first demo as well. This is so versatile. I have a real thing about flourishes and scrolls. I think a lot of costumes do. I, I'm obsessed. But I think it adds a really lovely sort of uh, very, um, oh, what's the Elegant. Word? Thank you. Elegant finishing It's texture. elegant and it's it the final touch, I find. But that always. is... That is just adorable. Yeah, it's a little toast all die. It's 409088. Available to order on our website, craigcraft.com. We do have other items on the show for you as well. And obviously, do stay with us. If you want to say hi to Nikki, we'd love to hear from you. Um, any questions you have about the products on the show as well, then do ask us. Okay, we've got a, a couple of uh, mega buys. This is the 200 sheet A4 card mega buy. Plain rainbow, white, and cream linen, uh, and cream and white hammered card. Um, you get 200 sheets in total, and that, if you're in the club today, is 22 pounds and twopence, 409256. We also have some value um, card stock, which is the world of paper. This is the extra white card from Linda Chapman. There's 60 sheets here, 12 by 12, so massive sizes as well. And that, if you're in the club today, is a shocking 899, 405286. We have Linda's black card on the show as well. From Italy, this card, beautiful quality, 12 by 12 size, 50 sheets in total, and that again is a very special price, particularly if you're in the club, because your price is 8 99 that's 409287. We've got the super smooth A4 card stock available on the show. You get 250 sheets here for just 17 99 if you're in the club, 345434. Um, and we also have secure pens on the show as well. The secure pens are the Stardust gel pens. You have the bright colours here. You get five pens in total for 11 69 That's 357576. We also have the light uh, option available for you as well. And this is 357578. 1169. We've got the dark option as well. 357573. Again, just 10 And just quickly, one more item before we obviously join Nikki for uh, the first demonstration. These are the Rare Earth watercolour palettes. And you get a set of 18 watercolours for 2249 if you're in our Crate and Craft Club. 405660 is your item number to a uh, quote. Okay, so let's come back to uh, Nikki because we're going to start with our first demonstration using the set of gorgeous stamps yeah before i do can i just explain something because i know yes, that i'm going to forget yeah. if i don't tell you now so and it's quite important so on the oldest on on the ULA CD, yes. we talked about stencils and masks, okay? Yeah. So I just wanted to actually show you. <coughs> so basically, on that CD, we've actually made it so that actually gives you um, a mask sheet mm. for these stamps. Oh, okay? So instead of having to just scan mm. it, all the stamps mm. in and then do all the tracing yeah. and everything, I've actually done this in a way that your machine is going to pick up this mask really, really quickly and easily so you can cut it out. Oh, very clever. Because they are quite detailed and it means yeah. you're going to get some really nice masks. Now, we've, obviously, we've had to wait a long time for Annika to come to come back and stock herself here. Yeah. At Craig Park. <laughs> but the Ula CD-ROM, a third of the stock is already sold. Wow, I know. Wow. wow. Now, mm. also on there are yeah. these brand new stencil masks oh, as well. Like that. So, basically, you're going to get 10 stencils. Now, I've just scanned these. I, I've just opened these into my machine yeah. and I've just cut them. Now, you might you can do them in paper, but obviously that's a one-time only kind of thing if you mm. do that. Now, what I did was I've actually taken them onto some acetate. Is that on acetate? Yeah, it's okay. a really thick acetate. So, look. You can, I've, I've actually inked some of these, so you can't see them very well. But look how well they, in fact, look, it's better against my top. Look so how well they cut. What did you do? These did are you, amazing. Pr you, you printed them off onto acetate, is that what you did? Or no, what? I've just literally set them through, I just took the file into yeah. the machine, yeah. and then just put the acetate in and just cuts the acetate. So I now have my own masks and oh, stencils. Oh, my word. So look. And that's all on the CD, This one. is all on the ULA CD. And that's oh. what I was saying about it being 
using a proper mixed media yes. CD. It's the first time we've given you these stem okay. cells to you. So I just wanted to tell you, because I knew Wait, that I'd forget. Just to verify, because I know we have the Brother Scanner cut on the show, but that's not what Nikki used to do that, is I it? I use the Silhouette machine, right. which okay. I think is also on the website, but um, you can do it with your Scanner cut as well. Okay, so it's, it's no different. Right, okay. she, whilst you get ready, because I, I just want to read out this Eddie. email for you. It's Cara. Uh, hi, Cara. Hi, it's lovely to see Lone and Nikki together on our screens. Definitely a recipe for fun. <laughs> Poker Doodles produce such wonderful, unique products. The CD-ROMs are simple to use, and the quality of the stamps and dyes are amazing. Already bought my dyes before the programme started, so I can enjoy Nikki's stunning demos. Yeah, that's what we're going to do now, Cara. Okay. Okay, so I am going to use the Rare Earth Watercolours. I can't speak rare earth. It's because I've not been here for ages. Rah, rah. So, um, I just wanted to show you how to do this card because it is so simple to do. This is the one. We can just, you can just show it there. Look. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Well, you've got to get that framed. Yeah. So, it's look amazing. at the dimension amazing. on there. We might not get around to putting the glitter on, but... What? You know, we'll see. See how we get on. No! And I'm going to try and be clean and tidy, but, I, you know, you know how it goes. Oh, well, you're a crafter. Why would you want to be clean and tidy? Okay. So the first stamp I'm going to take is this one, which is like a circle, and it's got lots of, like, little frondy bits. It's kind of got some bizarre frond. I call them fronds. I don't know. It's just doodles. The doodle stamps, okay? Yeah. You get a really lovely, crisp image on these. Now, the... Um, what you need to do with these stamps yeah. is they're not like any of the stamps that you've had unless you've had stamp suit before. So basically, you're going to take each stamp and you need to look at the shape of it and think, what else can that be? So here, I actually have a little leaf. Mm -hmm. That can also be a petal. can also be a bus fly wing. On this occasion, I'm actually going to make it into a beak because I've now got a bird's head and a beak. Okay, I was thinking shell. Would yeah, it could be. A shell? Yeah, could absolutely, like it could be. Yeah, half a, half a flower. Yeah, totally. Like, didn't see that one coming. Yeah, very clever. So it takes you. What you need to do when you get these stamps home is you need to just sit with them. You put a day aside, yeah, for half a day, and just sit with them and really play with them, because you know I design these, but even when I'm designing, mm. you know I need to actually sit and play with the stamps once I actually get them. Now I've taken this stamp, which is actually. Um, a flower stalk or it can be a border if you want to go around a border it can be so many it can be legs it can be lots and lots of different things so what I'm going to do I'm just going to angle that slightly there and right now if we wanted that could actually be a flower the start of a flower yeah. okay but we don't want it to be that so I'm going to actually use this to create the body of my peacock so look look how easy it is Okay, already starting to come to life. I'm now going to take, there is actually two peacock feather stamps. But again, these aren't just peacock feathers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just literally start stamping. Okay, and I like to, I don't necessarily need to kind of stamp all of this, but mm. I like to, I like to get a base. Now, can you see there, I didn't stamp that particularly well, it doesn't matter. These are so forgiving. The If you've never stamped before, mm. or you're not very, you feel like you're not a very good stamper, yeah. these are perfect because the, the most forgiving stamps you will ever own. I love the detail. Because right, look, yeah. I'm just over stamping here. Yeah. I'm not even masking. I've got all those masks, but really? actually I don't even need the masks. It's amazing. And I'm not, That's all I'm doing is just yeah. vaguely looking. Yeah. Now I've actually gone a bit wrong here because really? I've used the really big feather and yeah. on this one I used the little one. But you know what, mind. it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to take this one next. So look how quick that was. So how many different size feathers have we got on there? We've got two different feathers. Right, so okay. we've got a small feather and a yeah. big feather. They're both the same feather, they're just different yeah. size. So look, now I've got this one which is actually petals or leaves or a butterfly, whatever, or it can be wings as well. Mm. So that I'm going to just, I keep nearly stamping in my watercolour. I'm just going to lay these where I kind of roughly where I want them to be. Okay. So I've kind of got my, my bird there. I'm going to just draw an eye. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And then the other thing that I just want to do to finish off is we have this really lovely, this is like a, 
a curly stamp. And again, this is... This, is, is this his headdress? This is fabulous. Yeah, it? this is his headdress. Uh, this, is again, is one of those really... All of these stamps oh. are versatile. It, they look so... I think what's really nice is that it gives the effect of, it's like it is hand-drawn. Yes, it does, yeah. And because they're really sketchy, and because they are, you know, because I've hand-drawn them, mm. it means that they're very forgiving. So as you're stamping, yeah. there is no mistakes because it, it just doesn't matter. And look, you can, you know, you can get a real sketchy feel to them all. And you just position, you know, I'm just doing it bizarrely. Yeah. You know, it's about giving you that really nice soft look. If you want to be precise, you can mm. be, but you mm. don't have to be. So let's get some watercolour in them, shall okay. we? So I'm just going to grab my brush. And you actually do get a different brush with these watercolours, but I just um, happen to have brought these. So, let me see. Now, these are the Rare Earth watercolours. Mm. Do you know what? I love these paints. Why did you, I was going back to what I wanted to ask you. Why did you choose? What, what was it about these ones that you particularly liked? Well, to be honest, the studio sent me these to try and mm. play with. And I kind of thought, I'm, I'm normally, a, I use my Kurotaki paints yeah. all the time, my, my uh, Gansai Tambi, which I absolutely adore. Yeah. And they're very, very rich in pigment. And I thought, oh, they, you know, these, you know, they're not going to be my Kurotakis. Do you yeah. know what? These are so rich. They're so vibrant. They're absolutely gorgeous. So all I'm doing is I'm just wetting my right. little... Um, the colours you're going to use. The colours, kind of yeah. Them, the little yeah, little just, yeah, because they just need a minute to soften. Yeah. I'm going to be honest, those greens for a peacock, oh my word, are amazing. Look how vibrant they are. Yeah. They're absolutely stunning. Now, this is where you're going to be really kind of free and easy with what you're doing. I don't want you to sit... You know, for hours, you can if you want, sit mm. for hours painting if you want to. I mean, I do. I, it's it's therapeutic. Yeah. But you don't have to. Because, look, I'm just doing, like, ovals. Yeah. And then grab a bit of green. Look at that. Yeah, that's what and you're just going to... That is beautiful. You're just going to pull Such that in color. there. And then, do you know what my little trick is? Yeah. Because I'm not a watercolourist, but I absolutely love watercolouring. Yeah. And because that's quite vi vibrant, that's a bit too bright and vibrant for yeah. me. I like it a little bit softer. Okay. So I just take either a baby white. You get a different result. If you go with a baby white, yeah. it actually lifts quite a lot of the colour off. Right. So if I just show you, for instance, on here. Because yeah. if you think about it, a baby white is actually wet. Yeah. So it'll actually lift a lot of this colour off. So what mm, you need to do is dab sense. it. Don't don't rub. Yeah, just you know, because you just want to dab it, mm. and that enables it to to dry out a bit as well. Okay. If you just oh, have, yeah. if you have the time to sit and let it actually yeah. dry, then let it dry. So out of the two choices, would you? Is it baby wipe or, or the towel effect? I, uh, to be honest, it just depends which I pick up. At the time, I do both. both. So how I do I this? Nice. Yeah. Is I kind of do that and that's my base, okay? Right. Yeah. And then what I do is I just randomly stamp all of those feathers out again, look. Yeah. Now, what I want to do, again, I know people at home are probably going, oh, but I don't like cutting. You know, yeah. I'm not very good at cutting out. It takes, it's going to take forever. So I just, again, wanted to show you that it isn't, I kind of already prepped this and then I've prepped it again, look, with the right, wrong size. So I've already coloured all of my peacock feathers yeah so let me grab my i want this is how i want you to cut these out because i don't want you to sit there for hours cutting these okay okay so just anybody can do this the big easy scissors the yeah. faster it'll be yeah, actually particularly precise. no look i'm just cutting roughly yeah. around okay let's get rid of that now I want you to put those together. Yeah. And I'm actually, just to explain, I'm using watercolour card, okay? okay? Because I'm using watercolour paints. And it's actually just a bit easier. So all I'm doing, look, I'm using the end of my scissors yeah. to actually cut around. What's that, what's that called? It's, it's fringing. fringing. Is yeah. It, fring what did we used to do that with, Nikki, years ago at school? What did we do uh, I don't know. I actually had some scissors that were fringing scissors, which were fantastic. Did you? Yeah, I did, yeah. And I, I actually, I don't use them very often, but when I do, I always love them. So look, I'm just, then turn it over and do the yeah. same on the other side. And then all you're going to do oh, is fluff oh, that up. Oh. And look, you've got two fantastic, and that's all that needs to be. So you're going to do that with all of your feathers, okay? Uh, so, hang on a minute. Stop the show right there. Where's the top tip thing? A couple of seconds. Got to load it up. <laughs> I knew that was a top tip in the midst of the individual <laughs> box. Thank you. Love that. Right. So 
this should really, I should have really let this dry a little bit more, but mm. I don't want to waste too, time, too much time. What glue are you using? So, please? this is actually um, a tattered lace glue. Okay. I think. So, I'm just going to look. Would you would shape you, these a little bit? If you were making it at home, Nikki, would you use glue? Or would you? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I would. Yeah, it's easier. I, think I, always, I, always like, I always like to ask. Yeah. You know, because obviously, crafters, some crafters love tape, some crafters love. Yeah. Um, What's the name? Perhaps. Yeah, because Ooh, I'm using that. a watercolor. This is another tip. Because I'm using watercolor card, because it's got a felt surface on it, um, I find that a wet glue actually works better because the glue can um, sometimes... Look, I haven't cut that one down, have I? I think I've got enough anyway, though, sure. to be honest. Yeah, probably. So look, all Do I'm doing is overlapping, look. Now, you wouldn't have thought this was this easy, would you? To no, look at that. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you, no, I wouldn't. To look at that card. I know everyone was kind of like filled with horror when I said what I was going to do this morning. No, and I kind of said to Chris, I was, I was just like, oh wow, yeah, I really want to see this. Yeah, you know, but sometimes doing sort of things that are really complicated on TV, sometimes I regret. But, um, you know, I was just adamant that I really wanted to do this. But I do want to see the glitter effects. I, I love that. All right, I think okay, that's... we've got to do that, have we? And do you know what I'm loving so far? Nothing's precise. Everything's yeah. quite, as you said. Yeah, we're just chatting you, away. Yeah, it's nice, it's quite messy. We're not having to cut around and in and out and bit, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it looks, look at the effects already. I think it looks, I think it looks amazing. So I've got these little petals, look, which are actually hearts as well. So I've just oh. cut those end bits off, you know, because we don't want those. It doesn't matter. You know, you can cut off whatever you want. It doesn't matter. It's just all about making it as versatile mm. and making it what you want it to be. Mm. Okay, so looks amazing. That's that. So, what I wanted to do was show you yeah. this background. I'm not going to do any more with that because you, okay. you're getting the idea anyway. So, I'm just going to dry that off, and then what we're going to do yeah. is get this really wet and sloppy. Now, what I would say is a little tip with these paints they're so strong, try and mix them off that little palette. I can't remember right. what you call that. Um, but my advice is take them into the palette, into the lid like this, okay? Because okay? you have a bit more control. Oh my word! So Ooh, look at us. We're, 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 what's this called? Is it paint splattering? This is just splatter. Is it splattering. Look. And the more water you get on there, the better. Okay. And what that does is because we're this is why we can get away with doing kind of like a bit of a, a sloppy technique, if you like. Yeah. <laughs> Does that sound funny? Yeah. But it is a sloppy technique. And let's get some purple going on. Oh, yeah. We have got enough purple. Sorry, I don't want to splatter you too much. I stood back a little bit. It's fine. Yeah. Are you doing gold as well? Yeah, I'm going to do gold. some gold. I've got. I'll really just wet those the down. These are actually these golds are yeah. from the Kirataki Gansai Tambe. So I've just oh, slotted those in there. Yeah, there. they actually come out of your uh, Tambe palette. Right. So I've just slotted those in because okay. I, I love them so much. I just Let's get a bit of blue in there. You know, you can put whatever colour you want in. You need a bit of green. And then look, blue? just, if you just splosh, yeah. just splosh it on. And if you get too much, you're going to just come back yeah. and look what happens. Oh, my word. I want a bit more purple in there. We all love purple, oh, don't we? Just, isn't that beautiful? Now, there's in the high street... At the moment, yeah, there is there's home decor. I yeah. can't remember the name of the artist now, but basically, it's all like this. It's very splodgy mm. and kind of. Um, I'm just gonna dab that on just to save a bit of time. Yeah. I can't you... remember the name, but it's all over the. It's somebody, on mugs and cushions and let us know. Like there's let hairs know. and. Um, hairs it, as in a rabbit, not yeah. as in hair on your head. But is it? Um, well, if you've got them, Pete, who's the artist? Oh, he's already in the artist. Just going to dry this off. Now, I am going to. What's just, this one? This is Fantage glitter. It's what? actually embossing glitter. <sighs> yeah, oh, well, which is on the website. Well, we might have time. I, I do need to let everyone know that we, you know, the all the CD one. Um, is it 66% of the wow. stock? Yeah, and that's sold out. So, if you do want it, I, I, listen, obviously we will, we will, with Nikki, we'll show you around the uh, the computer, but if you want to place your order, I'd do it sooner rather than later. Now, what I want to do here that makes this a bit different as well is I have that Elegant Flourish, 
and look. Oh, now this is, we don't have this on this card. No, oh, I I, like yeah, I do as well. I think it just yeah. finishes it off. It gives it, because I've done it in white, it's just going to actually finish this off and give it a bit of wow. See what I mean about the size of that die? Yes, that lovely. Thirty percent yeah. of the stock of the dies is gone. Please don't forget you've also got. Have you seen the toadstool one? Yeah. Isn't it just adorable? Yeah, it is. And you can cut that right down as well, so you can make that fit lots of different projects. That one, um, it's fabulous. And also the other thing with the toadstool, I've actually been using that for flower stamens as well. So you know, it's not just a toadstool. Oh, it's got a bit bent. <laughs> Can you undo those for me, mm. clicks? Thank you. And then, are we, gonna, are are we, we trying to glitter as well? Do you want me to? Oh yeah, please. Are we gonna? Are we gonna? Are these gonna stay white? Yeah, we'll leave these white, but okay. they might end up with a bit of glitter. Now, what I'm gonna do is, <sighs> looks, do you want I'm just these? gonna. Do you want these as well? You got enough? No, I've got enough. Sure. Let's just blow a bit of glitter on. Oh, let's. I was gonna put one on there because that's where I put one before. Mm -hmm. Let's do that one there. Oh yes, there. Sorry, yeah. My thing's a bit smaller than it was before. Yeah, but let's just put that there. I think he needs another one now. Okay. Yeah. And that's just... Oh, we yeah, haven't yeah, done yeah. any gold on here either, did we? Yeah, hey, we're gold. Oh, gold. Too much, Glenn. Too much. No, it's not. <laughs> no, kidding. I mean, we've got too much to do. Okay. I can't imagine somebody's face opening this up. Is it? No. It can't just be a card. Can it? it can't just be a card. Okay. Let's just... Yes. Imagine, if, imagine somebody's face. And I know this is that. really big. But you know, it kind of sometimes you need to do things. Yeah, you, just yeah. But sorry, that, but that's what does it justice the size okay, of it as well. Just, so this is again. Say what it is. This though. is um. It's just watch it because I've got it on there. Um, <laughs> glue <laughs> yourself. This is uh, stampendous <laughs> stampendous, which is actually um. There is also some. It comes in this set. We've got. I know it's on the website somewhere. Yeah. Or it has been. Ooh. And this is embossing glitter, okay? okay? So what we can do, if I put this on here, there's a couple of different ones. I'll put the frag... The one I've just put on is fragments, which is more of a... It's like a glitter it's, shard. I was say, it looks like really tiny, tiny particles of sand. Yeah, well, this is actually... Um, you know embossing powder? <coughs> yeah. It's embossing powder with glitter mixed in it and um, different things. Why are you going from underneath? I'm going from underneath to actually heat the embossing powder, yeah. make it start to get warm why? before I actually attack it from the top because okay. I'll just blow it all away if it goes straight in why? from the top. Yeah. And also it's drying out my um, project. Okay. It might just take a minute because it's quite thick card to actually go through. Let's try it. Yeah. Yeah. Is it too easy? Yeah, I think I need to... Um, you can always do it. Try on with you. Yes, and not to uh, lose all that as well. Sorry, no, we, we, oh no I'm not Sorry, if it's not boring. Is it boring? We want, no, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm obviously they're bored. I'm not bored. We're watching it. We can get a bit on there. There's a bit. That's it. Sorry, it's all over you. Oh, I'll take that. I'll embossy you. But you see, look, you see here, we started to. Oh, look. yeah, look. And if we put it down, Lillian. Yeah. If I, can you just hold that again over yeah. that for me, please? So if you just hold that and hold it quite, can you hold it quite close for me? Yeah. In the middle there. Oh, just well, yeah. There. Look, you can actually heat it at the same time that you're actually. If you put quite a bit on, can you see it? It's actually melting. Oh, yes, look. Just put a bit on there. So be quite liberal with it. Oh, I've blown that off. <laughs> But you get Ooh, the picture. Is looking you incredible. can spend a lot more time at home yeah. and don't blow it all around on your stamps like we have. Oh, I just think that's. I, I love it. I loved everything about that. Didn't so you? we yeah. haven't quite finished it, yeah. but um, I'll try and finish it off after the show. Oh, and we'll give this we will. We will. We will. Let me just show you the actual stamps themselves. So there's 27 uh, stamps, I think, in total. I just I wanted to show you this as well. This is the largest peacock feather. Look at the size of that. So that's just one of them. And then you've got the smaller size over here. But yes, as Nikki says, you know, use them in one way, but then look and sort of find, find and use them in another way as well. The price, now your uh, price today is 13.49. 409084 is your item number. 30% of the stock of that has sold out and gone. The Ula CD one, which is brand new in the show today as well. We're going to show you this in just a few moments, but we'll, oh, 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 because it's limited stock. Uh, well, we'll try to. We're going to give Nikki um, a chance just to get everything else set up and obviously reset the uh, set because I've just knocked some stuff down. And I've got loads of emails to read out as well. So what we're going to do is show you a clip. Uh, tell you a little more about our club here 